All right, just finishing up these last two. Their barrels came in actually yesterday. Still had a little bit of magazine work to do on both of them, but they're both finished now. And I will test them out tomorrow. And Steve, I want to say something about yours. Um, it came with this fake suppressor. And I got to looking at it, and I said, uh, well, you know, the end's not even threaded. And I've received one like that in the past. Um, and so I, what I was going to do was I was going to go to the hardware store and buy a tap and just tap it out for 9 millimeter. They didn't have the tap. And then when I got back, I noticed that it was too long. But it's only got set screws back here. So um, this won't work for what we do because if your clutch gets out of tune and it gets a little loose, what will happen is you'll have BBs coming out. Um, that'll, the, the air pushes down on the BBs in here. And one of them will get sucked up and then that will bring the rest of them into battery. So you'll have one coming out real slow. And then the other one will come out really fast and slam into it. Now, if that happens inside this tube, it's going to beat this tube all up the inside of it. That's what happened to me with the one that I had. Because I didn't bother to thread it. I mean, just, just this is a real goofy design. I don't know what they were thinking. So, I gave you mine the old style and i'm just going to keep that and do something with it later now with the 500 millimeter barrels they've got it figured out it was threaded it's the right size and it's got two opposing set screws now i'm going to show you guys a little something about why these magazines are so tight and how to properly um, get them in the frames Hey guys, real quick, I want to explain to you why when you get your Superbirds back from me or even in the uh, full auto chip builds, why it's so hard to press your magazine in. In here, there's two pieces of Gorilla Tape. And what that does is, see, on your barrel nut, right here it's only got one hook right there on one side so when you have the magnus op seal in here that seal presses on your valve body and when it presses on your valve body it torques it and that gets your valve out of alignment with the solenoid and um, i've actually broken valves by not having it aligned so that's why that tape is there. It just presses everything in alignment. And the latch plate on the bottom here, it covers your um, vertical access while the tape takes care of your horizontal. Now, since this magazine has the stainless steel tube liner in it, it's a little bit thicker. So it's thicker and you have that tape in there so when you go to put it in it's not going to feel like it used to um, the way I do it is I'll put it in press it as far as I can and then press it like that until I hear that click now if you don't have enough strength to do that another thing you can do and it's pretty tough to take out is you can just put it flat on the table Press down until you hear the click. And we are engaged and ready to go. Alright guys, hope this helps. Later.